Hello, everyone. How are you today? Um, I'm Crystal Horton with Accelerate Marketing, one of the account managers for Accelerate Marketing, where we help businesses like yours become the go-to business in your niche. Um, in other words, we help your business dominate your online reputation and local SEO. So today I'm discussing what is voice search and why does it matter? Woohoo! <laughs> I just want to make sure this is working. Yep, we're good. Okay, so yep. voice search is the ability to talk to a device and get answers back. So I'm sure you've talked to Surrey or Cortana or Alexa. Now we have Alexa in the house and my kids absolutely love talking to Alexa and playing Jeopardy and even asking like, what's the weather like today? And I read recently um, that Alexa is now getting geared towards recommending what to wear for the day or what to pair with your jeans or your shoes or your shirt. Have you heard about that, Ryan? No, I haven't, but I know that there's like, I mean, you know, Apple has got a uh, Apple, uh, not home, but uh, that's Google home, Apple uh, home or something like that. And I mean, it's just amazing. Like, you know, there's, there's going to be so many more of these searches being done. And, you know, it just, just like, you know, with Google search years ago, it's just, you know, us being trained to be, get used to, you know, making these voice searches. Once we're used to it and we're trained to do it, we're going to be doing it more and more. And I think that we're going to be doing it, um, you know, much, we're going to be, we're going to be getting much more descriptive in terms of the uh, words that we're using more so than we even use when we type in a search on Google, because it's just easy. We're just saying, Hey, Alexa, find the best, you know, uh, dentist near me. That's got a five-star rating. I mean, there's going to be those type of searches, you know, yeah more so than people typing that type of stuff in just because, you know, as you pointed out in the description, you know, we can talk four times as fast as we can type, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, yeah, I agree. I figured out how to share this, but now it's not working. So let me just share my screen. So yeah. I have some information that I definitely wanted to share here. I'll just share my desktop here. And, and the implications of this is, is that, you know, on the positive side is that you could be the best dentist showing mm -hmm. up in search, voice search, when somebody goes to Alexa. Or, by the way, I, I got to mention this. this. These type of voice searches are happening on smartphones as well. You know, yeah. when you when you type in, you know, and you go to Siri and you say, hey, Siri, you know, who's the, the, the dentist? You know, what, who's the best dentist close to me? that's a voice search and that's mm -hmm. done with Siri on your smartphone. And, and the same thing is being done with Android devices on Android devices. So it's not just from these devices that are in our home, they're, they're in our smartphones. And that's why we're going to see an exponential increase in these voice searches in the coming years. And the search optimization that's being done to make sure that you are the business that's being mentioned yep. is different than the optimization that we've done for the past decade for search engine optimization for text. That's the key. That's what, so you, as a business, you need to be prepared for this. If you're not, it's the difference between you getting a phone call or not getting a phone call. Yeah. And it's not waiting either. It's, it's starting now because look at how yeah. fast it's grown from 2017 to now um yeah. faster interaction leads to greater consumer retention and engagement so for those that sit or are sitting on the fence stop <laughs> move forward yeah. well and, that, and and not only that i mean i i have to say that you know this is there's no better example of how low how seo is tied to reputation than with voice search why because when somebody says give me the best dentist near me, that's, mm -hmm. that's taken into a lot of parameters. It's taking into account the person's location, so geography. So, and it's also taken into account that business's reputation, whether it's on. So for Siri, who do you think Siri uses for the star rating for the business to determine who is the best 
of whatever it is that you're looking for? What do you think? It's you think it's Google reviews, yeah. or do you think it's something else? Oh no, I think it's Google. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Yelp. No way. It's Yelp. Yes. So Siri uses Yelp to I. Oh. Craft. It's a contractual basis. It's the same thing if you look up a business on Maps for your iPhone as opposed to Google Maps. If you do a search for a business, that what the reviews that are showed that are sh that are shown on the Maps on your iPhone as a, as opposed to Google Maps will show you the reviews that it'll pull in the reviews from Yelp and not Google. Why? Because you know, Apple's got a thing against Google, right? I mean, they've, they've been competitors for a long time. And so they're yeah, not going to yeah, show Google right. reviews. They're going to show Yelp reviews. So, so I just want you guys, so, <laughs> but I want you guys to understand this, that, that the reviews are going to be pulled in to those searches that people are doing with their voice. It's really, really important that you get this as a business owner, that your reputation is absolutely going to be front and center when somebody verbalizes to Siri, to, to Alexa, you know, to, you know, Cortana, etc., when, when they say best restaurant near me, make no mistake, they're going to pull those reviews from either Google, if it's on an Android device and it's using um, Google Home or, you know, it, but, and then on a Apple device, it's going to pull those reviews from Yelp. So you want to make sure that you've got a favorable five-star reputation first. It's really, really important. And that's why we pair local SEO with our foundation product. But we, we pair local SEO with reputation as our foundation product because both of those are really inseparable. They're, they, they go together hand in hand. And, and this is a, a great example of that. So anyway. Yeah. Go ahead, Crystal. That's definitely why we started talking last week about online reputation because that's where your foundation starts and how yeah. well you align impacts how the search engines rank you just like you had said yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. um and and the really cool part in my research as far as when it comes to voice search is that 71 percent of people use voice assistance for you know tasks like asking questions or searching for something specific so they also stated that people that are aged 45 and over make up the biggest percentage of voice assistant users wow yeah wow, wow. they yeah. make a bit so, 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 the, so 45 and older are making the most searches with their voice yep so i would i would fall on that criteria because i'm 46 so there you go yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's even great. But the, the other thing too, that I, I discovered during research was that the, the use of voice enabled speakers, I guess I'll call that for now, since there's so many different types, but they're saying that it's going to grow by 130% this year in 2018. This was the um, quote percentage from last year. Wow. Wow. Well, we're already one third, we're already, you know, more than a quarter of the way through this year. So, or close to a quarter of the way through the year. So there you go. I mean, if, if you want, it, it, there's no doubt that your business this month is going to have multiple, if not tens of people actually doing a voice search. And the question is, is are people hearing your business Are you there, Cortana. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear yeah. you now. Last you I know, heard was Cortana. The question, yeah, the, the question is, is, is your business being mentioned by Cortana or Siri or Alexa, et cetera, when they, when they actually do that, when they verbalize that type of a search for a, um, you know, to those devices? That's the, that's the big question. Yep. That's the big question is, is your web, is your website speaking Google <laughs> also known as yeah. schema, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is you, well, is your, is, well, it's, you know, schema is one component of local yeah. SEO. It's just one component. Um, you know, it, you know, you know, the Google search language, yes, is schema, but it's, it's not just for Google. That's that schema is for 
you know, being Yahoo, you know, for all, all the search directories, um, it just, it, and that's just one strategy that we have in order to make it so that your business is, is um, better optimized for search. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, ultimately, you know, we want to make sure that, that you're optimized for, for search and, and, uh, and there's many different strategies. You know, we were just talking earlier today about, um, you know, link building is another very, very big strategy for, for actually um, showing up in search. But, you know, let's keep this focused on, you know, what we're talking about. And, and, and yeah, that, that, uh, that voice search, any other good data you got there? Well, the cool part too is Ryan is that, you know, just like Google did when we first started with Google and we would ask it a question, it would give us the specific answer to that question. And then through time, mm-hmm. the search engine then provided us with what our next question might be, giving those answers. Yeah. So now yep. voice search is putting that together to where, you know, Surrey is, is answering additional questions that you might have before you even ask. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's becoming smart. And, and knowing, you know, just like YouTube knows what videos that I would potentially like based on my previous searches that I've done or videos that I've previously watched, it just gets smarter and smarter and it serves up exactly what I'm looking for eventually. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah. and it's part of the customer journey to where they're saying Google sees the move into voice search as a natural extension with the current customer journey. So now it's becoming part of that journey. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a natural, in other words, just as easily as somebody would do a search from their smartphone or their desktop or the laptop or their iPad um, on Google or Yelp or, or Bing or Yahoo, they, they're just as, they're becoming more and more comfortable doing a voice search and just pressing the button or yeah. just using their voice to say, hey, Alexa, you know, hey, Google Home, hey, you know, Siri, you know, you know, and, and then doing, doing the search that way. So, yeah. um, what, and then, uh, uh, referring know, back to it so that they can then go and purchase it a few hours later. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So is there, and that's just amazing. 130% increase this year. Um, and those are all the devices. There's the Apple device, the Google device, the Microsoft device, oh, uh, right et cetera. Samsung, yep. Amazon. A- yep. Amazon, IBM has even got one. So those are all the, the voice, you know, the voice devices that are in the home. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So that's really, that's really powerful. And, and again, guys, if you don't have good reviews, you know, mm-hmm. if somebody verbalizes that they want the best, you're not going to show up. And that's, that's a very compelling search. You know, that's going to be done more and more. And another big search is another little key is near me. Near yes. me is a big, big search that people are doing now. They want to know what's near me. And that search is being done more and more uh, as, as time goes on. People are, are wanting to know what's near them. And that's something that we're, that we're honing in on. When we, do our, when we set up our reports, one of the keywords that will we'll identify what the most important keywords are for the reports that we generate, Crystal, like the Rank Tracker report or the local SEO report, or the Google mm-hmm. My Business report to show how a business, you know, compares to their competition, which by the way, if you guys want one, let us know and, and we can generate one. But, and I know that there's probably a, a link for somebody that, to, where, where do we want people to go if they, if they have questions today? Right now, I just posted the link. It's m.me forward slash uh-huh. accelerate marketing. Okay. And that's the Facebook messenger. So that's, if, if, yeah. uh, if you want to, yeah, if you want to message us, Go ahead and message us there, and then you can even just type in local SEO uh, as a keyword, and we'll deliver um, some really great content. What do they get when they get that? Well, I'll drop uh, a link in here so you can you don't even have to type local SEO in. But if you click yeah. on that link, you can download and read the case study to learn how a property management company got over 371 reviews on Google got on the first position on Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. Wow, that's really powerful. That's, uh, that's what businesses want to do. I mean, and when you can get those kind of results, um, you know, and I can, I can vouch for that. I mean, that's, that's Kevin 
uh, mm -hmm. over uh, Kevin Davidson at the in the marketing department at um, Empire Industries, and our friends, uh, you know, Steven Rosenberg and uh, and Pete Newbig over there. You know, they now are growing to you know what seven locations now. They they went from you know they contacted me four years ago in the Houston area, and I'm like, oh my gosh, good luck ranking you know on the maps. And organically for a big city like Houston for the for a word like property management. I mean, that's like, you know, when you're when you're talking property managers, if you if you're a property manager, you know what I'm talking about. Ranking for the keyword property management is like the holy grail. And um, so I, I didn't really think it'd be possible. But, you know, what they did is they listened to what I said. They they implemented our our uh, review culture training that we did with them. They got they now have over 300 some odd reviews. Uh, we built up their set. We claimed their 71 directories. We helped them do some uh, local link building. And um, and now they're getting 100 inbound phone calls every single week, every single month. And uh, that, that's just transformed their business. I mean, that's their, their number one lead source. And, the, and when people call, they're already pre-sold because they've already seen their reputation. They've seen the 300 plus reviews. And they're already they already come with authority because they they're showing up on the first position on maps and with their website in the organic section as well of Google and Yahoo yeah. and Bing. So yeah, really yeah. powerful so stuff. So really that that case that is really good. Yeah. yeah, make sure you download it. <laughs> you don't want to miss it out. Yeah, miss out on it. And then well, our time is up. Uh, just to let you know, Monday through Friday, I'm live sharing some successful strategies every once in a while thankfully ryan will join us and drop his knowledge bombs as well and so um this week we're talking about local seo next week is all about google my business and then the week after that i'll talk about reviews and online reputation so my homework for you today is to do a voice search and use the word near me and see what happens tomorrow i'll be talking about link building and so we'll see you tomorrow. Create a great rest. Well, of well, let me. Well, oh. well, let me. Let me. Let me say. In terms of the homework, guys, what I would say is this: is is do a voice search on whatever voice device you have, and verbalize your business name and your city, and do other searches with your business name and city and near me or best, and then your your keyword. So like best property management company near me or best property manager near me or in so in other words this, this is by the way one of the one of the searches that that we do the most when we have people type it out it's you know whatever your keyword is your city and the word reviews and um that's another really good search to do and um anyway that's that's um awesome crystal is there any what what can people do in order to help their voice? Is there are there any specific strategies that people can use to Im improve their their search? Well, the strategies really what we shared was you know reviews. That's that's really important okay. with reviews and claiming of those directories, which I talked about yesterday and touched base on yep. as well. Or okay. you know if you have Perfect. any additional questions, get in contact with us. We're we're always available to answer questions within fifteen minutes with either a video a audio message or a video message and you can send us messages at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing awesome thanks crystal bye everyone